What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Moon walkthrough. Okay, so, we did a little bit of exploring, got a new things, uh, revived a few fossils, so now it's time for us to actually move on and, well, you know, complete some stuff right here before we go into the next totem battle. Yes, there is a totem battle close by right here, guys, and, uh, yeah, I kind of want to, like, complete that stuff. Now, there is another thing, too, I completely forgot about these uh, hidden items that I've I haven't been looking for, and yeah, we gotta we gotta retrace our steps right here. So, anywho, in our last episode, you guys have already noticed that I switched up my team just a little bit because, well, you know, like I said, nobody's safe in this uh, team. I want to actually make a good Alolan team before I, you know, start getting crazy with the other Pokemon right here. Now, Ultra Psycho is in my PC, and it will have a home uh, on my team from time to time. Uh, I am at, just like any other Pokemon games that I've played before, like Omega Ruby. Uh, what else did I play? Uh, Pokemon X. There will be, you know, I will, I will, I will try and make some teams, uh, or try and uh, revive some of my old Pokemon teams that I did in previous walkthroughs. And right now, I am looking for another hidden item right around here. And oh yeah, right over there. Yeah, completely forgot about this hidden item. And let's see, did I get it? Nope. Uh, but I'm actually fishing. And let's see what we actually find right here. I did, that was not the intention, guys. And, well, let's see. We are getting ourselves a Wishy-Washy. Now, if you guys don't remember, Wishy-Washy was one of the Pokemon, one of the totem Pokemon that we actually faced. Never really caught the guy. So we're going to get the heck out of here because uh, we don't want none of that. Not yet. And we need to actually grab the... Uh, no, 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 no. Come on. Damn it. And, oh, wow. Never mind. We obtained a, uh, yeah, we obtained a pearl and a, a max repel, which is great. So let's see. Uh, no, I do not want to use another one right here. So I think that is pretty much all the stuff that we we can actually find. Now the lush jungle is that way. We can actually go there right now if we wanted to. But for right now, I want to actually continue on right here. I want to battle some more trainers I want to see where uh, I want to go to the Pokemon Center and heal my Pokemon and all and well let's see here we are okay so this is where we uh, this is where we dropped off right here so let's see let's see what else can we do nothing else okay so there's an entrance right there and here we are in front of the Pokemon Center so let's go right ahead and heal our Pokemon and you know continue on with our adventure right now Yes, please heal my Pokemon. Now, we are on egg alert as well because we do have a Pokemon egg uh, with us. And a good thing we have uh, Fletchinder. Fletchinder. Can't even name its name or something like that. Uh, let's see. Right now, it, is, it moves occasionally. It's close to hatching. So that's good. We could hatch it in this episode right here if we run a lot. Or if we use, uh, you know, our Tauros. Now... Yes, the Pokemart. Let's see, what do you sell? And this guy actually sells us some Pokeballs right here. And I'm actually going to buy myself quite a few Dust Balls because we will be we will be finding some other Pokemon right here that, you know, require getting... Or, you know, Dark Place. It's nighttime. We can actually capture a Pokemon right here. Now, let's see. There are quite a few things that we can actually find right here. Like into this area. I think there's something of importance right here. So... Let's go ahead and take a look, and there's really nothing. Let's see, he's a terrible guard Pokemon, but my Snubble is super cute. Very, very cute. And, well, we're afraid there's no vacancies. Oh, so this is, yeah, this is a hotel room. The boy staying there paid up two years worth of nights, and he is the first one, though he's not the free with cash as used to. Seems like Team Skull doesn't pay well enough to live off of. Okay. Huh. Okay, so let's see. What do we have right here? This is a hotel room. And, well, let's see. Oh, look at that. Gladian. Get out. Wow. Wow, he, 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 he really does have an attitude. He really does. Okay, throwing a middle finger, and there is an item right there we can actually use. So let's go ahead and grab this little sucker. And we found ourselves a, a dive ball. 
going to be good, uh, good, of good use uh, for catching Pokemon while we're fishing. And we got some Pokemon trainers right here working on their golf swings. The swing is all in the hips. I'll put my hips into it, uh, to it when I take you on. Shoot, you can do anything with your hips right here. Okay, so here we go, guys. Another Pokemon battle, and we are taking on Golfer Miley or Miley Miley. I don't even know how to pronounce these names. So here she comes out with a Meowth, and look at this Pokemon. It looks all feral and everything. So here we go, Inferno Blade, ready to go. All right, let's get it. Inferno Blade. Let's go with the U-turn attack right here. And bam, super effective. Say goodbye to Meowth. And I think, yeah, I think I have to switch my, well, I think she only has one Pokemon, so. Terra Ruff is learning Odor Sleuth. Don't need it. And uh, there we go. We have defeated Golfer <laughs> Miley. Miley, Miley, I don't know how to pronounce that. Okay. Let's see. Let's go ahead and, uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon. Actually, I'm again, I'm still used to those, uh, Still used to that, so let's go straight to Joker right here. And as always, yeah, as always, let's keep the A close by to a uh, crap baskets. Let's go, yeah, let's keep it close by to uh, Inferno Blade because we need to hatch this Pokemon, and its warmness will actually keep it warm. And here we have another golfer, and he's like, when it comes to golf or Pokemon, it's all about the performance. Whatever you say, Shooter McGavin. Okay, alrighty, here we go. We're gonna go straight up against Golfer Allen and Well, let's see. Coming out with the Rock Ruff. I think I've chosen the right Pokemon right here, so here we go. Taking on Joe or taking on a uh, Ruck Ruff. Still don't know what kind of Pokemon my or my Rock Ruff will evolve to. Remember, it evolves into two separate kinds of Rock Ruffs or evolved form. I can't even remember what it's called. One looks feral, the other one looks nice. The one Ash has, and the one that Gladian has. Okay, so we have defeated them, and... Well, let's see. That's pretty much it for those guys. So, let's go ahead and move on. And the Wimpod always run away before I nab one. And even if you catch up to one, they still try to distract you by dropping items they've gathered, and then they'll run away again. Oh, okay, so... It turns out that you can actually find a Wimpod right around here. Let's see. Talk to this lady. The reason that Mallow is always looking for the best ingredients in the lush jungle is actually because he wants, or she wants to make Olivia say once and for all that her cooking is the best. Huh. Okay, so Wimpod, a Pokemon right here. Look, he's right there. We need to actually get a Tauros to actually, you know, get in front of this guy once. Like, see, once it notices us, then it, you know, you're out, uh, you're shit out of luck right here. So here we go. Got it. Okay, so remember, they are quick Pokemon. The only way you can actually find this little Wimpod right here is by rushing it again with a Toro. So let's go right ahead and capture this little sucker right here, Wimpod, level 20, and I got the, I got the stuff for you now. Here we go. We're going to throw a nest ball at this guy. Nest ball. Go. And one. Deuce. And come on. Stay, stay, stay. There we go. Wimpod easily captured. Now, this Pokemon is very interesting, too, because it does evolve into a pretty cool Pokemon afterwards. And I kind of want to use it. So here we go, Wimpod. And bam. Oh, my God. Wimpod is just like... Please help me. <laughs> All right, so Wimpod, what do you got? The bug and water type Pokemon. Its habitat varies from beaches to seabeds, a natural scavenger. It will gleefully chow down on anything edible, no matter how rotten. Ooh. Okay, so it's a water type Pokemon. I already got myself the water type Pokemon, so we're, we're not going to nickname it. We're going to save it for later on, send it straight to the PC. But it can evolve into a pretty strong uh, bug type Pokemon with a pretty gnarly, uh, gnarly ability. And look at that. We found ourselves a big pearl by capturing this guy. And as you can see, there are some holes right here. That's where it will actually hide to. Now, again, make sure to actually get on your Tauros to try and capture this guy. Because there is no way to actually get him just by you know running on foot and all that crud. So 
the wind pod, the habitat has been cleared right here. And well, oh, huh? Never mind. <laughs> so after one episode, guys, we are finally hatching our good old egg. And guess what? Surprise! <laughs> Jang Mo. -o. Now, yes. Pokemon Sword and Shield. Pokemon Sword and Shield, guys. We got Jang Mo. -o. We caught him early on into the wild Pokemon area, and I did say that we were going to be using this Pokemon in Pokemon Moon. So there it is, guys. Jang Mo. -o. The dragon type Pokemon. It is scaly. They live in the mountains where no trace of humans can be detected. Jangmo'o grows little by little by, they, by as they battle one another. Now, yeah, I could wait to go into the mountainous area in a, in Alola, but that takes a while, and I get it. You capture a Jangmo'o right here, you're sure to you know grow it. Well, you're sure to evolve it within the next episode, within the first few battles that you have it in. But I kind of want a challenge. I really do. I really want a challenge with this Pokemon. So let's go right ahead and welcome welcome this Pokemon back into our team. You guys already know its nickname. Say hello to Ivan Drago. Even though it's a female. Drago. Now if you guys watched Creed 2, yeah, screw the wife, the ex-wife. She left Drago for some rich dude. <laughs> okay, so two new Pokemon. And Drago right here is at level 1, only has Tackle Attack, its ability is Soundproof, and right now its stats are pretty uh, basic. Look at this, Link Trade, and then now we finally evolve it. Okay, so we got our team. Let's go! Let's do this. Alright, feeling uh, very, very accomplished right here, guys. Really, really accomplished, so there's nothing else we can do. And let's see... Actually, let's get a, let's get off Tauros right here. Now, I guess the lush forest is right next to us. Two entrances. And... Look at that. We are in Route 5. And the lush forest is right in there. So, before we do anything, guys, I kind of want to explore just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. And... Well, let's see. What is this? Less junk, uh, jungle and Brooklet Hill that way. Now, I think we've already been to Brooklet Hill. Huh. Never mind. Okay. So, screw it. Let's do it. I'm going to be jumping off. Seeing what else we can actually find right here. Don't worry. We got the, surf, uh, the uh, whatchamacallit, uh, we got the Charizard to actually fly us by. And, well, it looks like you can actually find some pretty cool items right here. You're going to be battling some trainers. Oh my god, let's go ahead and battle some trainers. Let's go! Alrighty, here we go. Taking on Ace Trainer Alexis. And, well, here we go. Coming out with a Gumi, a very interesting Pokemon, which will e eventually evolve into a pretty strong uh, Dragon type Pokemon. And, well, let's see. Let's go right ahead and use a disarming voice. And, wow, Bide. Have to go for Bide, right? So here we go, Bide attack. Super effective against, uh, well, no, that's not Bide attack, but Disarming Voice. And here we go again, and it's storing up energy that he is not going to be using. So here we go again, Disarming Voice for the win. Say goodbye to Gumi. All right, Gumi. That's right, and the rest of the team grows levels. Drago is finally learning, well, growing levels. Look at that, level 4, level 5. They grow up so quickly, guys. Level 6, level 7. And, well, she's going to be coming out with a Sylveon. That's the Pokemon that I completely forgot about the whole name. So we're going to come out with Drago. Mainly for the whole, like, you know, it gets a little bit more experience points if it's out there. Not going to be using it. So look at this. Drago looking like a beast. And here's Sylveon, the Pokemon that I couldn't name on off of the Evolutions. And let's go straight to Dump Truck. Mainly for its poison type capabilities. Alrighty, alrighty. What's up? How's it going? And here comes a swift attack from Sylveon. It's super strong, but guess what? We got ourselves a poison jab attack. This should do it. But yes, we're getting attacked again because we're not that fast. So here we go. 
Poison Jab does its trick. Say goodbye. Say goodbye. Alrighty, alrighty. And, well, Drago grows to level 8, level 9. And it's learning by it. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Level 10, 11, 12. See? They grow up so quickly. And Puka grows to level 33 without doing anything. Okay, alrighty. Yeah, we're doing stuff. We are, uh... We are doing things, guys. A lot of things. And, well, here's an item that we can actually grab. A Hyper Potion. And, well, let's see. There's another trainer. I want to battle him. Alright, bring it on. So, what do you think of the largest of my area? I don't want to know what your lar the largeness of your area is, okay? So, let's continue on and just battle. Get going up against Gabriel. And he is coming out with a Mudbray. Another Pokemon. Very interesting that I kind of wanted to use and all that. Alright. Here we go. Let's get it. Let's go with a Super Bubble Attack right here. Bubble. Go for the Bubble. And the Bubble Attack does the trick. Alrighty, alrighty, okay. And, well, let's see. Terra Ruff grows to level 19. Yes, we are... Yes, we are powering up our Pokemon for this whole little thing right here. And, well, let's see. Go up right here. You can get a lay of the land and all that crud. And here we grab ourselves an ether again. And, well, let's see. Is it, are there hitting items? And no, we're just going to get attacked by a Pokemon. You know, that's all right. It's, just, we're getting, it's not like we're not going to get attacked. And here we have an Alolan Diglett. Oh, you got to love it. You have to love these Alolan Diglets. And, well, let's see. Let's go with Le Bubbly Attack right here. Le Bubbly. Le Bubbly does it. Alrighty. Okay. Alright. Not bad. And Dunk Truck grows level 31. Drago, level 13. And it's learning Protect. Yeah. They're growing up so quickly. And, well, let's see. Gotta go right here. That way we don't get attacked by a Pokemon. And we grabbed ourselves the TM-59 Brutal Swing. A move that, you know, good old Dump Truck already knows. So we're going to jump off right here. And, well, let's see. We're just going to continue on right here, guys. There's a Pokemon Center that we that we know about. And, well, I kind of want to grab that TM right there, too. So, yeah, we're going to get attacked. One of the duties of a breeder is to discover and refine the strengths of Pokemon. You don't say. Okay, alrighty. So here we go, going up against a uh, breeder. I can't remember her name. Let's see, more or no, Pokemon breeder Yuka, and she is coming out with a Morphle. And I think this Pokemon is a Grass and Fairy type. I want to say that. Let's see. Let's go with an Ice Beam. It is a Grass type. It looks like a Grass. And that is super effective. Yes, sir. Okay. And look at that. Joker is growing to level 32. Powering it up. And, well, here we go again. Coming with the Ladybug. Let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon right here. Let's go straight to Inferno Blade. Now that, it, now that, it, that it, it's an egg-bearing uh, uh, egg bearing duties are complete. And, well, here we go. Chimichangas, let's get it, Ladybug, and well, let's go with a Flame Charge right here. So it's pretty much a great thing that I actually taught my Pokemon these moves while it, while they were in Pokemon Sun. So there we go, Flame Charge does it for the win, and well, more experience points for everybody, and more items for all of us too. Okay, alrighty, okay. So let's see, I see an item close by right here. Gonna grab this little sucker, and we found ourselves a super potion. And well, let's see. There's a TM close by. I kind of want to get it, but I don't know how. Let's see. Oh yeah, right through there, obviously. And well, there should be an item right here somewhere, probably. I don't know. Let's go right here, and oh wow, it's not letting us. And well, we found ourselves a star piece. And, yes, we're going to get attacked by so many Pokemon. Now, I know that I should be going to uh, to the Totem Challenge first, but I kind of want to take a look at this place. And, yes, we are looking at a Lillipup. 
for Ace, you know. We could evolve it into Stoutlander from Scotland. That whole shebang. And, uh, well, let's see. Let us move on right here. And, oh, there it is, an entrance. And, let's see. No, nothing right there. Let's go ahead and grab what it, whatever it is that we needed to grab. Nice TM. Bam! Found ourselves a TM41 Torment. And, well, let's go ahead and let's move on right here. Should probably go to the Pokemon Center while we're at it. And there are some... Uh, Okay, so this one right here is Route 5, a place where many winding paths and ledges. Hmm. And, well, Curious Me wants to go look at some Pokemon. And, whoa, what is that? That looks nice. If you continue up this path, you'll find a Pokemon Center. And past the Pokemon Center is a trial site at Brooklyn Hill. Huh. You don't say. Let's go ahead and grab that. Okay. Alrighty. Cherry Berry. And yes, we're gonna keep on getting some more, more of these berries right here. And there we go, person berries. Okay, alrighty. Let's see, let's see. And I think I've already. Oh, well, would you look at that? We're back in pers uh, in Brooklyn Hill. Hmm. Huh. Well, would you look at that? Looks like we've already explored that situation right there. Okay, so this is our episode right here, guys. We're going to go all the way back and then do the totem challenge. So thank you guys again for watching this episode. I will see you guys in the next one when we go in for our next trial. See you guys.